Right, this is the uh, final set of operators I'm going to look at and it's the compound assignment operators and there are 11 of them. And uh, here's what they mean. Uh, what you're going to see is expressions like this. E, expression 1, some operator equals expression number 2. And it's equivalent to E1 equals uh, the type of E1, that's a cast going on in there, of E1 whatever the operator is, E2, that's what it's equivalent to. Uh, except that E1 is only evaluated once. Now that means that um, the left hand operand has got to be a variable. And uh, the type of the result is the type of the left hand operand. Because once you've done this assignment you're going to be left with the value on the left, and that's the that's the type of the result is the left hand side. And um, the uh, value of the expression is the value that's assigned. And uh, just like with um, the ordinary assignment operator, the ordinary equals, um, uh, you can uh, you can string them together. And uh, Processing is done right to left, and just for a laugh, I wrote this down. <laughs> There's a whole string of uh, things which are valid. So you've got a byte here is being multiplied, and you got this. Uh, it starts with this um, short value here, which is multiplied equals and uh, b. So it's uh, multiplying becomes b. So s multiplying becomes b uh, minus equals. Uh, Whatever that value got set into S was is then um, subtracted off of I, and the result set into I, and whatever that was um, is then used in this thing here. That's I is, uh, L is uh, right shifted by that amount, and uh, whatever that uh, long ended up at is, is being divided into that float. And well, you can see it's. Uh, it's a bit of nonsense, but uh, um, that's how you interpret it anyway.